Thanks, Jill. Uh, it is also Dental Health Month, the next couple months um, for dogs. This That's is my right. important information here. We have Tessa in studio who just underwent a root canal. A fierce beast is Tessa. Yes. She's, she's adorable. Um, but we're going to be talking with Dr. Julie Shell about uh, your dog's dental health, how important it is to keep up on it. Are you going to brush a tooth? Uh, yeah, definitely. Is nice. it time for I think some it's time. light therapy? Over to Suzanne. Thank you, Ashley. We're talking dental health, specifically pet dental health, all this month. Dr. Julie Shell is from Bow Bottom Veterinary Hospital in this morning to talk about caring for our pets' uh, teeth. Good morning. Thanks yes, for coming in. Morning. Thank you, Suzanne. We have Tessa down here. She's hard to see because she's black and she's enjoying a, a, a treat right now. Uh, Tessa actually um, underwent a root canal recently, and we're going to look at some of those yes. pictures in a bit. But um, S let's start off with three way three things that we can start doing today to improve our pet's dental health. Excellent. The first thing is training your pet to accept toothbrushing. And there's very easy ways of doing it because there's chicken flavored toothpaste mm -hmm. and a lot of cats and dogs really love that flavor. And that's something that you can start just even by putting a small amount of the toothpaste on your finger and then massaging it into the dog or the cat's mouth and getting them used to that. There's enzymes on that toothpaste that will actually help even though you can't maybe right at the beginning use a toothbrush. Okay, some pets uh, take to this easier than others. I know it was a real yep. challenge with my dog. So the yep. earlier you start that, the better, I'm guessing. Absolutely, yep, start okay. as a youngster if you can. Any other pointers you have? Definitely feeding them a treat that will have the ability to break down tartar and, and also there's food that will help break down tartar and prevent tartar formation. And there's various prescription products you can talk to your veterinarian about. And even treat-wise, there's definitely veterinary rec recommended food treats out there. Even feeding a piece of a carrot or an apple mm -hmm. or a whole carrot or a whole well, you, apple. You brought along good. little mini carrots this morning. Absolutely, yeah. Those are wonderful treats for dogs. And they will help um, improve amylase production in their saliva so that that amylase will actually break down bacteria and plaque on their teeth. All right. Yep. Now, brushing teeth is... Yep. You say fairly simple. I have yep. tried this with my dog, and I've not had a lot of luck. Tessa um, is, um, I understand, she, she gets brushed on a daily basis. Yes. And so she's used to this now. Yep. Show me how you would recommend doing this. The first thing to do is apply a little bit of the paste to a toothbrush. You can actually use a um, automa automatic, powerful toothbrush, mm -hmm. a powered one. Wow. Or you can use a plain one. It take a while for them to get used to that. Though. Absolutely. They're noisy and they vibrate. Yep. Totally. Hey there, Tess. And she's Tessa, really I'm going to hold on to you. Sure. Dr. On, Show. And she likes the flavor as if it's a bit of a... This is always... ...of a chicken. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and so you let her taste it. And then once she has it in her mouth, then you start with the brushing process. And <gasps> you can get onto all the different teeth. We even do the root canal tooth that she had, the oh, lower left good fang. Dog. Yep. And then when she gets a bit more used to it, you can slowly start the motor. And she will eventually learn to lick that as well. And I like the motor because you can get even more action going with that. There you right go. To the back. There you go. Oh, that feels good. Good girl. There She's you brave go. Good girl. girl. Okay, hey, we have some uh, um, images that we brought in of um, some dogs that have had, dogs and cats that have had root canal work, I believe. Yep. Um, what do we have here? This is actually a cat that we are doing a root, that we are in the process in this photo of doing a root canal on. It had unfortunately fractured its tooth, we feel, from falling down from a really high level surface and so we did not want to remove that tooth it's a fang tooth very important for structure and function in the cat mm -hmm. and so that is just one of the steps of the root canal the gutta perca installation and this is the cat as well with the pathfinder we are just um determining how long the root is before we start filling that tooth to okay. preserve it and that's the finished product so it's always a little bit more blunt and I did not put a crown on that tooth because this kitty cat is not hunting it's not going to be chewing sticks and stuff so um, it should be fine with the just plain porcelain um, filling. Wow. Yeah. We do have, I, I was reading through this and I never realized you could put braces on a pet. Yes. We have an image of, of braces. Why would you go to the trouble of putting braces on a pet? Well, unfortunately, a lot of dogs are born with birth defects in their mouth, just like a human, where their teeth do not come in properly and that can cause a lot of pain. It can cause sensitivity. It can also cause the dog to change its personality a bit because the teeth will always be adjutting the um, upper gums mm -hmm. and it can even cause ulcers, like really painful infections in the mouth. And so this is a, a sample of uh, orthodontics that was put on a dog that basically will help push that fang tooth forward so that it will no longer jut in to the roof of that mouth. 
And some people watching will see, will think that's an incredible cost to, to go through for, for a pet. But as you say, it can change their, their, their behavior and how they interact with you if Absolutely. they're in pain. Absolutely. It makes them a much more happy dog. And those teeth are important not only for the chewing aspect, but for maintaining the tongue inside of the mouth and also preventing drooling a lot of time. The teeth are very important for that. So there's a lot of not only um, aesthetic reasons to keep the teeth, but also the personality of the dog does improve when they do have a healthy set of teeth in their mouth. Okay, and it starts with, uh, as humans, a regular brushing, I'm assuming. Lots of great products out there, so go and see your veterinarian and uh, get some help with this and stay ahead of it so you don't have to deal with a, a root canal or braces. Thanks for bringing in Tessa this morning. Dr. Julie Shell, you can find her at the Bow Bottom Veterinary Hospital. Tessa is the star of the day. Thanks, Dr. Shell. Thank you, Suzanne. We're back with weather and traffic right after this.